Hello everybody, this is Tech Cut. In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to download and install Optifine for the latest version of Minecraft. Now, if you don't already know, Optifine is a wonderful mod that has existed for years and it's just about for everybody, whether if you have a slow computer and you need a FPS boost or you have a wonderful computer with a great graphics card and you need support for things like HD textures and shaders. Optivine adds tons of control to the video settings, allowing you to increase or decrease render distances far beyond the capabilities of the default Minecraft, as well as a ton of other features. So you're not here to learn about the features, you're here to learn how to download and install this. So to get the latest version, you're going to want to go over to downloads and right away you can see here that this is not the latest version of Minecraft. This was a question I got asked. So what you're going to do is just click previous versions or preview versions and download the latest version. Generally, you're just going to want to get the very first link. As you can see, the version that is currently the latest version is 1.15.2. If there's a newer version, I will update the title if this method holds true. So if you see an updated title with a newer version, this will work completely fine. So you're going to want to download this. I'm going to download it through the miner and click the Optifine download and save file. Now I already have this installed, well not installed, but downloaded on the computer. So you just want to go ahead and move that to your desktop or wherever you want. Now my latest video showed a issue. Generally, well for a lot of people, you'll be able to double click on this and run Optifine. If it does what you see there, you're going to want to create a batch file. So I have a separate tutorial on this, but just a quick debriefing, you're going to want to create a blank file like this, go to new, text, you're going to want to select the entire thing and type whatever you want. So I'm going to type open.bat, which stands for batch file. Yes. And then we're going to want to pull the name of the file. So we'll go rename, select the whole thing, copy, and then we're going to want to edit our batch file. So open in notepad plus plus here. You're just going to type in Java, Java dash jar and then paste in the file name, making sure that it has the .jar extension. Go ahead and save that. And I have my run bat, but we'll go ahead and use the one we just created. So open.bat, and it will open the Optifine HD launcher. This installer will install Optifine in the official Minecraft launcher and will create a new profile Optifine for it. So make sure that your data roaming is the Minecraft right there, which it is generally for most people. And then right here, you're gonna to want to click install and you can see it running right here. This is great because last time I installed Optifine, you had to do it the old school method when you extracted the jar into various Minecraft jar files and it was a mess. This makes it easier for just basic users, people that don't feel comfortable going and doing that kind of stuff, and it makes it so it's nearly impossible to actually break Minecraft. Optifine has successfully installed. We're gonna go ahead and click OK, close this out, and now we are going to launch Minecraft so I can show you how to finish the installation. Now, you can see here, it's already there by default, Optifine 1.15.2. If it's not there by default, it will look something like this. Next to the play button, you will click here, go to Optifine, and click play. It will then begin downloading everything, kind of not really reinstalling Minecraft, but uh, editing all the files and everything like that to what it needs to run this modification. All right, and we can see Minecraft opening up. And when this opens up, what I will do is I will show you some of the little features it adds. Once you have it installed, you won't really need any of these files anymore. So I'll go ahead and give them a delete because it should have successfully installed. As you can see, this is taking a little bit of time to open up because we have uh, new files, new things going on. So it's just kind of giving everything a refresh. All right, now once it is all up, we'll go into options and video settings. And here you can see there is a lot more going on. For example, the render distance, the max frame rate. If you go down to performance, that just adds a ton of things that you can do, but that is about it. That is how you install Optifine in Minecraft. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw them down below. If you like this video, please hit that like button, 
subscribe to future videos. I upload tons of Windows type tutorials, software tutorials, Minecraft videos, Minecraft mods, plugins, server extensions, things of that nature. Have a great day and goodbye.